Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today we're gonna to be restoring back to factory stock settings, this Acer C7 Chromebook here. And so this video is for those of you who either tried to install Linux on here and it didn't work out, and you wanna start all over and start from scratch, or maybe you did install Linux on here and you didn't like it, it just wasn't your thing, and you wanna go back to the factory stock settings. For my particular purpose though, I'm going back to stock because I wanna actually install Linux again on here using a different method something called crouton i'll kind of uh talk a little bit more about that towards the end of this video uh but we're going to get right into things and so the first thing we actually got to do is uh, build a recovery drive and so you need at least a four gig or larger usb flash drive or an sd card will work as well uh, for this particular device because it does have an sd card reader um but you could, I think, use a USB SD card reader if that's what you have. Um, you could do that as well. And so we're going to be using the Windows instructions, uh, but uh, you could make the same thing using the Chrome device itself. I do have another video and links to that will be in the description, of course. And so when you click on that link there, it's going to download a very small file and you're gonna click on it and run it and the first thing you got to do is enter in the model number of your device and mine is a parrot rough a dash c 6172 now like I said this was a 320 gig model and uh, I believe that there is a 16 gig SSD model and I would think that there'd be a different model number. I'm not sure. Those of you who have that particular model, please um, leave a comment in the description. Let us know if it's the, a different um, model number. And this is kind of important to have the correct model number because it's gonna download a very specific image for your device. Uh, so once you got that, you can go ahead and click on next. And I've already got my thumb drive plugged into the computer there and it recognized it. So I'll just go ahead and click on next and okay. That was a final warning saying, hey, everything's gonna be completely wiped out. And so this particular um, step is gonna take a few minutes depending on your download speeds. Uh, it's downloading you know, 384 megabytes right now and apparently that is gonna take a very long time, 15 minutes. It could take anywhere from three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes again depending on your internet connection and so uh, there's nothing I really need to show you after this it's gonna say that it's completed it's gonna do its thing automatically and create the drive for you there's nothing you have to click on so uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to take out the hard drive out of here because we're gonna format it and wipe it out completely using the computer All right, so we got the back of the Chromebook here, and before I start, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the battery. Right, and then uh, your sticker is probably covering the screw here, but I've already removed it. And so the first thing we'll do is remove this screw here. All right, and then you just slide off the cover. And then here's the hard drive. Let me go ahead and zoom in. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll unscrew these two little screws here. All right. And then next, we're going to open this little tab here. This little two black plastic tabs. Be careful not to uh, break it because it can. It's very delicate. And then you're going to slide out the cable and be careful with the cable as well. You don't want to tear it or break it or rip it. Then you can go ahead and lift up the hard drive using these plastic tabs here. And then now we've got the hard drive. And you can take off the bracket, 
which is held in together by two little screws on the sides. Alright, this bracket comes out like so. Then this little connector here, you gotta be very careful, real delicate, kind of just ease it out like so. There we have the hard drive. Alright, so now that you've got your hard drive out, we gotta figure out a way to get this plugged into the computer. And I know what you're thinking, that's not the drive you took out of the Chromebook. Uh, this is a different drive, this is an SSD, uh, but the process is exactly the same. I'm just using this as an example because I have this readily available right now. And so I'm going to plug this into the computer using a USB docking station that I got over here. Um, I have another video using this method that I'm about to use called disk part and in that video I explain and show you a multitude of ways of getting the hard drive plugged into the computer here, right? And so I'm going to go ahead and plug the drive in as you heard it there. Um, now I'm going to start a program called disk part and uh, I first have to start up the command prompt so I type in CMD there right and this brings up the command prompt and so I'm gonna go ahead and start the program called disk part and it's all one word right and then I'm gonna go ahead and list space disk right and so here are all the drives that's connected to your computer this is the scary part because you could potentially accidentally erase a drive so if you're not sure, I would suggest that before you do all this, you unplug your important drives and you only leave your operating system drive and the drive that you want to format here. All right. Now I know by the size that uh, my SSD over here is 111 gigs about. Um, if you have a 320 gig model, I think it'll come out as 298. All right. And so it's listed here as disk three. So we're going to select disk three. So you press and enter, now it's selected. And then you're gonna type in clean. And this is the part where you gotta speak now, forever hold your peace, because once you press enter, there's no confirmation. It's gonna go ahead and just do it. And so now my hard drive has just been wiped clean. All the partitions are deleted on here. And so we can now take it and plug it back into the Chromebook. And then we can do the recovery process with our recovery drive that we just made. All right, so here we are. I just fired up the Chromebook. I don't have the thumb drive installed yet or plugged in yet. And uh, the first thing you're presented with is the OS verification is off screen. Chances are, if you modified your Chromebook, uh, you have this screen. If you don't have this screen, don't worry about it. Um, you'll, you, you won't see it and uh, you'll actually be seeing the next screen here. What I just did was I pressed control D to skip ahead because I didn't want to wait the 30 seconds for that to time out. And so uh, now it's saying Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Please insert the recovery USB stick. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now in any of the USB ports that I have. And so just the act of inserting the USB recovery disk, it should initiate the recovery process. There isn't anything you really have to do. It's pretty much going to do everything itself. I do recommend that you plug in the power uh, so that you know this thing doesn't, doesn't run out of battery uh, while you're recovering it. All right, so the recovery process is complete and uh, the whole thing took less than 10 minutes is very easy and so uh, just the simple act of removing the recovery media your system shuts down so don't freak out it's turned off and you hit the power button here and to truly bring back this thing to fully stock uh, when you're presented with the OS verification is off press space to re-enable go ahead and press space to re-enable Right, and then press enter to confirm that you want it to go back to OS verification. Uh, your system will reboot and the local data will be deleted, which is fine because we just did a recovery and all of the data was wiped out anyways. 
right? And so the machine turns off. It, it should have actually just rebooted, but for some reason mine tends to just turn off instead of reboot. But don't freak out. Uh, you just turn it back on. And you'll see here, uh, you don't have that OS verification. And it's returning to normal mode. And upon system, upon completion, the system will reboot. And we're presented with the very first screen here. So that's pretty much it. That's the entire recovery process. All right, so I hope you were all successful in restoring your Chromebook. And so what I'd like to do now is talk a little bit about uh, some of the upcoming projects or videos that I'll be making with this C7. And so the first thing I'll be doing is making a video on how to install Linux using a different method from my other video. Uh, this method is using something called Crouton and uh, the Lifehacker website here has a great uh, set of instructions on uh, how to install Linux using Crouton and it's a lot easier than the other video that had a bunch of commands and stuff like that. And also this particular method here allows for an easier dual booting of uh, Linux and uh, more explanation on that in the actual video when I get to it. Uh, but for those of you who want to uh, actually try this method and follow the website here, this is what I followed myself uh, and it worked out great. Um, you can go ahead and visit this site or you can wait for the video uh, that I'm going to make. Uh, either way, you know, just have fun with it, I guess. And uh, not to leave out the original set of instructions uh, that I followed in my first video, they also have a uh, newer script that allows for um, different distributions to be downloaded. You can install Kubuntu and all these other uh, kind of uh, themed Ubuntu versions. But it has like a lot of command lines that you have to kind of do. This particular method though, they even shares a download folder between the two, which is really nice, um, I think. But uh, yeah, the third video that I'll make after is gonna be uh, trying to install some programs that a lot of people kind of ask, uh, you know, can it run iTunes? Can it run Skype? Does it run Minecraft? I don't think you could do Skype or uh, iTunes as much unless you do a lot of emulating. But uh, I've heard a lot of people had success with running Minecraft on there. So I'm going to be doing that, like, you know, installing other Linux programs, uh, the, the basics that you're going to probably need uh, to get Linux running pretty well or using it as a full on productivity operating system and stuff like that just some of the best things that I find on the internet I guess uh, for Linux programs and uh, lastly the highly experimental I'm revisiting the possibility of installing Windows uh, I got some really good information on how to make a uh, custom firmware uh, or custom BIOS and flashing uh, the BIOS on here or the firmware that's on here after unlocking it and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully I'm gonna try it. I uh, don't know if anybody else have tried it or been successful. This, this particular experiment could potentially brick or destroy or damage the um, Chromebook beyond repair. And so uh, I'm gonna try it out regardless. I don't recommend that you actually try it out, uh, but I'm gonna do it and uh, so that, you know, you could see if it's successful or not. And if I brick it, well, it's better me than you. Then uh, so be it. All right. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.